Hey everyone, Spicy Toes Gaming here. I hope you're having a great day and I hope this video can make it a little bit better. Today is patch day. All the new champions and all new content for Path of Champions just came out. So we're going to be giving our first impressions for all the champions, starting with Morgana. Also know for this video, we're going to be going through the star powers, starting deck, the upgrades you get from champion levels, and then actually playing through a adventure. Normally we make this into two separate videos, but since we've already covered some of this content previously in other videos, we'll be merging them together in this video. Now, if you like all this content, definitely like and subscribe and let's get into it. Starting off with the star powers, the rank one star power, when you target an enemy, curse it with shackles. So the shackles, this is a card you're putting in the enemy deck, so they have to spend two mana to remove it. Now this mana can stack up the more you curse the target. So if you curse the same target, this mana will stack up higher and higher. But it's focus speed, so they can't use it in response to attacking or spells. But while I'm in hand, the cursed unit is a mobile. So that means it can't block and it can't attack. So you wanna be targeting a lot of enemies. The two star plus one starting mana around and deal two damage to cursed enemies and one to the enemy nexus for each curse in their hand. So this is a great way to try to remove enemy targets as well as dealing some damage to their nexus. Awesome. For the last star power, when you target an enemy, curse it with shackles and increase the cost of your curses everywhere by one. This is going to be very nice because the enemy is just gonna have to spend more mana to try to remove your curses. So those are the star powers. Let's go ahead and look at the starting deck. So Solari Soldier kind of makes sense since she is Targon as well as Demacia. So Daybreak, give me 1-1 one, one this round. Hush, this is actually going to be very nice. So Burst Speed, silence a unit this round. This is going to be great for dealing with enemy targets. And then since you're targeting them, you're also shackling them, making them immobile. So that is awesome. This is going to be very, very powerful. Next up, we have Shield Vault, grant an ally 1-1 one, one, and stun an enemy. So again, a way to target an enemy that is very, very good. Next up, we have Startled Stomper. So just a solid two cost with Overwhelm. For three, we have Dark Binding. This is also really, really good. This is, if I'm not mistaken, her champion spell. Yes, this is her champion spell. So if this gets any items, which it should, that is going to increase the strength of Grand General's counter plan on Morgana, because if she's on the board, she'll create a copy of her champion spell every round. And so I really look forward to seeing if we get any items on this, uh, but the spell, so three cost fast, stun an enemy, so you're targeting it, and curse it with shackles. So since you're targeting it, it's already gonna get cursed with shackles, and then you're cursing it again. So essentially you're spending three mana, and then the enemy is going to have to spend four mana to unshackle their unit. And that will potentially go up to six mana if you have her at three stars, since both of those curses are going up in cost by one. I think that should be how it works. This is going to be an amazing spell. Next, we have Lisa and Dolly. So three cost, decent stat line, but play curse an enemy with shackles. So again, you're targeting them, you're cursing them with shackles. And then from your star powers, you're cursing them with shackles again. Really great card. Next, we have Blinded Mystic. Play, grant an ally 1-1 one, one, and silence an enemy follower. So you're buffing your own unit and silencing an enemy. Again, a very good card. They really made her deck really solid. The only thing that's not like a great is like some of the earlier drops are just okay. They're not actually targeting anyone. But overall, so far, this is really, really good. Last up then, Mahira Aspect Ascended. So 8 cost 6-8, quite expensive, but play curse two enemies with shackles twice. So you're targeting two units, cursing them two times. But remember, since you're targeting them, you're actually cursing them three times. So even though this is going to cost a lot, it's going to cost the enemy more based on all the curses you are throwing out at them. Also important thing to note, Morgana's level up condition is you've targeted units eight or more times. So that's friendly or enemy units. So some of these effects like Shield Vault, you're getting two from this because you're targeting an ally and an enemy. Blinded Mystic, again, you're targeting an ally and an enemy. So that's counting two times for your level up, so that is very good. Let's go see what we get from the champion levels. So up first, Startled Stomper gets Fey Favor, so that is the new item. So Faded and becomes Fey. So every round, if you target this, it's going to get 1-1. One, one. That's pretty decent. Next up, Shield Vault gets Hextech Fabricator. Again, decent upgrade, giving some item generation. Solari Soldier gets Chain Vest. Pretty good upgrade for a one drop giving it a lot more survivability. Tough is surprisingly good. Next up then, Lisa and Dolly gets a studded leather, so a little bit of a stat increase. That is nice, because stats weren't too great before that. Next up, Dark Binding, so this is her champion spell, gets standard star chart, so invoke. That is okay. A lot of the invoke cards 
do have some decent utility. So that is, that's decent. Hopefully we get another upgrade on this, but if nothing else, it's still some card generation. So it'll help keep you from running out of things to play. Next up then Hush gets Elixir of Scale. So you also get a draw one on this. That is very nice, some extra draw in her kit. 18, the Blinded Mystic also gets a Phage, so 2-2, two, two, making that a pretty solid unit. Next up at 21, Mira gets the Colossal Hammer, so 3-1. So this is going to be an absolutely massive unit. It's kind of funny that they didn't give you any way to reduce down this in cost. So probably not gonna be able to play this most games, but when you do, it's gonna be absolutely massive. Next up then, Lisa and Dolly gets a Crystal Carrier. That's nice, helping your ramp. That is quite decent, actually. Next up then, Shield Vault gets Ardent Sensor, buffing the top ally in your deck. And that is it for upgrades we are going to be getting. Honestly, I think this starting deck is really well put together. Because it's so good, the upgrades you're getting from the champion levels are all okay. There's nothing in there that's just like, oh my word, this is absolutely crazy and game-breaking. Uh, but some decent upgrades, but that's really offset because her starting deck is so solid. All right, with that out of the way, let's go hop in a game and see how she plays. For Relics right now, we're just going to run a Cosmic Pearl. We get that extra starting mana, and then we'll get a bit of extra XP once we win. Now we're going to the place we always go. We're going to test them out against the two-star Nautilus. All right, let's see what we get for our first power here. Rush them down, Nab, or Raiding Party. Uh, I think... So sharing is caring is pretty good, but I don't think we actually have that many. We have almost no keywords. This isn't really going to help us. These other two are fine, but we're hoping to get something that can help us target. So let's use one more reroll. All right, I guess we'll go with little buddies just so that we always have a blocker. All right, the beast below. All right, Morgana and open hand. That's good. I think let's get rid of the Blinded Mystic and actually hold on to all the rest. Uh, I think, yeah, we don't really care about getting the Daybreak effect. Alright, getting some solid damage down. Alright, let's try to break this out. So it's gonna get stunned and shackled. So we have one set of shackles right now, and you see that went up to four cost, so it got one curse, so two mana from us targeting it, and then two mana from the spell we played, so they just have to spend four mana to essentially play with that unit. Alright, I guess we can just attack. Hmm, not quite enough. Actually, let's go ahead and play. <laughs> let's play our Morgana, just further shackling that one unit. So yeah, they have to spend now 10 mana, so that card is essentially unplayable for them. Let's go ahead and silence that. And because we're going to attack, and these are focus speed, they can't even play these to try to unshackle them. GG. All right, Blade's Edge, this is actually gonna be great. A cheap way to target an enemy. All right, Support Champion. Anything that can target things. Uh, none of this. I mean, this this will be able to target. So a very cheap way to target an enemy. That'll actually be pretty decent. Let's go for that Champion item chest. So Stalking Wolf. I kind of have a feeling, pretty good starting hand, that Morgana is gonna be the new, just best control champion in the entire game. I think these curses are so strong. Uh, let's just pass and hope they play something. Nope, all right, well we just banked that mana, I guess. All right, let's go ahead, shackle that. And let's actually just target it again. All right, so that card's essentially dead. Oh, actually, I guess it is dead, right? We are gonna have a shocking amount of removal from that crushing guilt. Like that's that's gonna be a good amount of damage. All right, we want to play Morgana, but we want her to obviously target something. So we're gonna try to pass. It might just burn our mana. 
Uh, I guess... I guess we'll just attack to get some damage down. Alright, that's fine. We really don't care about that at all. Alright, so that's gonna die at the end of the round, right? Yep. Alright, let's play our Mystic, replace that, buff up Morgana, and then chain up that. Oh look, they're actually going to play it! I actually don't care if that dies, but I just want to <laughs> keep shackling. Uh, it's great that they actually are playing them, because that just means they can't spend their mana on anything else. All right, potentially GG. No, oh, that's fine. All right, let's go ahead and target that. All right, let's see that level up animation. Morgana is pretty cool. Alright, we'll just immediately shackle that. If they spend the mana, we'll then hush it. <laughs> okay, interesting. So if a attack is already declared, even if you immobilize it, the attack will still go through. Interesting. Okay, that's good to know. GG. I, all right, I think... We'll actually go here because this will let us target two enemies. So that'll be pretty good. All right, Morgana. Uh, I think let's go for the challenger. <laughs> sure, this will be kind of a teaser for what we get later, I'll, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. That's not too bad. I don't really think I want to get anything else. Uh, let's go up here, Unscarred Reaver. Alright, solid opening hand. Man, I can't wait to just curse one of their champions so it's just completely unplayable. Alright, I think... I think let's use a Dark Binding. Don't really want to damage that. Although I guess it's going to get damaged. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Uh, sure. We can play this. Alright, we're going to save this to target if they play anything else, so we can just immobilize it. Wow, they're actually going to spend... Interesting. Alright, let's just shackle it again. Yeah, six mana. <laughs> That's a lot. So, we're spending five mana on Morgana. They're having to spend six. That's crazy. Alright, GG. Man, Morgana feels so powerful. Uh, let's see. I guess let's go for Pale Cascade. You really just want to pick up any spells that are going to be targeting, especially the enemy, if possible. Sadly, we haven't seen too many of those. I feel like, yeah, we should probably get rid of this. It's just so expensive that we're never really going to be able to play it. Hopefully, we'll be ending games before then. All right, Sejuani. All right, that is a lot of spells. 
Uh, let's actually hold on to most of these. Because I really want to control their board. <laughs> So even if we don't play units and we're just targeting them, I am fine with that. Alright, here we'll just pass. The winter's claw strikes. Alright, let's go ahead and use this. We don't really need the stun because we're already immobilizing it. Let's just get attacking. I guess, yeah, let's draw a unit. Now our celebration can truly begin. All right, let's buff this. We're stunning them and also immobilizing them. Also, we might fill up their hands so much that if they draw more cards, they're going to get uh, them obliterated. Sad that we don't have our Morgana. This is probably going to be one of the rounds we actually could have played that 8 mana. Uh... All right, let's just open attack. They can't block because they're immobile. Alright, sure. Let's go ahead and shackle that as well. Alright, definitely want to stun and shackle that. Alright, so they literally can't do anything. Alright, draw one. This will be very good for us. We definitely need that extra draw. Draw two and give them fleeting. Alright, our open attack will be able to end the game. Yeah, eight mana. We could have had enough to play it. GG, the enemy had, like, nothing they could do. Alright, Morgana. Uh, tech seems like it'll probably be the best. Hmm. None of this is amazing. I think I actually want to go for the memory game. Do we want to go for the Poro? I think I want to go for the champion item chest and get more copies of our champion. So let's go down here. All right, pretty solid opening hand. Yep, let's go ahead and immobilize that. This is a pretty random thought, but I just kind of realized that Morgana would actually be pretty good with the Packed Powder Epic uh, Relic. Because as long as you have someone shackled, you're damaging the Nexus every round. So she's just going to get, like, always be scaling off of that, which would be amazing. But at the same time, also benefiting from some cost reduction would be pretty nice. We're just trying to shackle up their board. Nice to meet you. I'm Isla. Dance with me. Yeah, we can still attack like this, getting as much damage down as possible. So 
So we could play Morgana, but I think I want to take benefit of our fleeting card. Alright, I guess... Let's go here. We probably won't have mana for whatever we draw, so we'll just pass. This is kind of the one issue with the deck, really, is just the fact that if the enemy goes really wide, then you might struggle. The less units the enemy has, the more powerful you're going to feel. Alright, so we could go for the Morgana, but we could also play double Lisa and Dahl. Morgana's not really going to have a great effect. Like she's going to be great when she levels up, but against this many units, her effect's not really going to be amazing. Magic is way more school. Alright, we're going to attack, deal some good damage. And then with the pirouette, we're going to attack. It stuns first, deal one to anything. And stun. So we're going to shackle two more, targeting both of them. And now our Morgana is leveled up. Wonderful. Hello, new best friend. All right, let's replace this and go ahead and stun that. I don't really understand why she's an egg, but okay. Uh, deal one to that, and go ahead and stun that. Oh, those spells let you target multiple is so good. Alright, so we're going to play some of this. We want to shackle up their board so we can have a free attack and end the game this round. Granted, the enemy does have a lot of mana, so they might be able to get rid of some of these shackles. Be still. So they're unshackled, but they're still stunned, so it kind of doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, GG. All right, this game Iceborne Gauntlet, that's not too bad. Let's see, sure, let's get some spell shield, I guess. Uh, it's okay, not really great. Let's try a reroll, see if we can get something good. Sure, that's not bad. So we could curse enemies. Yeah, I think we're fine. Uh, let's go for the shop, see if we can get another decent power. So, y'all hunters. Uh, let's get rid of the Pale Cascade, I think. Hold on to all the rest. It's actually not good for us to start with the attack token. Uh, we'll just pass. Because we want the enemy to be able to play something that we can counter it. Like here, we can go ahead and curse that. Let's go ahead and shackle that up as well. And sure, let's go ahead and kill that. Shackling it, but it doesn't really matter since it's about to die. It is good to note that when a unit dies that is shackled, the card just disappears. Alright, 
we can go play and play our Morgana. Oh, that'd actually kill Morgana. That's not good. All right, I guess we'll hold off on attacking with her. Yeah, since we are a level one deck, our starting deck, as far as stats, is pretty weak. But that's not really the focus, so it kind of makes sense. All right, they're already deep. Let's go ahead and stun and shackle that up. All right, we're fine with just banking our man, I guess. All right, so we are at five. We could try to get Morgana leveled up. Welcome, All right, let's go. Oh, my word. You... Yeah. You're kind of running out of cards there. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Be still. Blood and guts, golden glory. All right, so we want to level her up and as well deal some damage to their nexus. Alright, GG. Feel my pain. That's a pretty good, strong attack effect. Alright, when the next round uh, switches over, it'll be GG. Oh wait, they don't have anyone shackled. <laughs> Alright, that's only if they have someone shackled. Forgot about that. That's kind of funny. Granted, they might just run out of cards. Alright, so now when it rolls over. <laughs> GG. Alright, gain some more copies of Hush. Not bad. Uh, Wop's not bad either, but I think I'd rather go with this. Alright, a shop. I'm sure, we have the money for it, so I guess. Curse an enemy with terror. This is actually pretty good. Champion draw, and we can target something for one. This is really what you want to look for, is a cheap spell that you can target anything with. Uh, that is quite nice. Also, since we're cursing the enemy with terror, we're also targeting them. Also, this is a target. Uh, there's actually a decent amount of these spells. All right, we'll grab this, and then that'll be it. What do we want to cut? I think we can cut this, because at least this one's actually targeting. All right, Nautilus. Uh, we don't really care about having Mila. Again, I think we'll just pass. Everything we have to play is targeting enemy units, including our soldier. So we'll just bank the mana. It's fine. Alright, that's fine. Alright, so let's hit this as well as, well, I guess this is burst, so that's fine. This should curse it twice, both with terror and shackles. And then this one will, well, outright kill that unit. And let's play this and curse their spiderling.
Oh, we have mana to play Morgana, but we don't have any units. Uh, we'll attack just to make sure we don't completely lose out on all of our damage. But yeah, we don't want to play anything with them not having any units. Right, I guess we'll shackle that, even though it will die. Alright, so we can go ahead, stun that, and kill that, and still have mana left over for our other spells if we need it. Wow, they're actually spending four mana to unshackle their unit that's already stunned. Uh, interesting. We're close to leveling up, so let's just play this at the Nexus. We really want them to have the opportunity to play something. Um, that was weird. So apparently they played something. Um, okay, that was odd. Game freaked out there. I guess if we hushed that, its health maybe would be too low to trigger that. Anyways, let's uh, play our hush to get Morgana leveled. I am your darkness. I am your truth. And sure, let's go ahead, buff up our Morgana a little bit. That is a lot of damage. Feel my pain. GG. Alright, Morgana feels really good. Like, it definitely feels a bit slow right now because we're low level, we don't have any upgrades on our deck, but as far as her core kit, she feels really fun. I am predicting that she is going to be the best control deck in the entire game. Uh, she is just absolutely awesome. You have a ton of damage, both on the Nexus, on removing enemy targets, stunning them, making them immobile. She has sustain through lifesteal. I think she's going to be absolutely amazing. I'm already thinking of a lot of fun different relic builds. I'm looking forward to testing out on her. Really enjoying playing her, but I'm also looking forward to playing the other two champions. Those videos will be posted either later today or in the next few days. So definitely stay tuned to the channel if you're interested in those. All right, I hope you all have a great day.